Okay, everybody, it's time to do some direct X. And that's what we're going to do. And I don't have a light here, so this is what I look like today. I am in the shadows a bit. There's a light behind me. And that's just going to be how that works today. Because I'm in the midst of reorganizing this room, and I can't be bothered. So, where are we at? What are we doing? What's going on here? Okay, so this is where we're at. We have a game. A little bit of game. A little bit of game. And we have a puppy that barks incessantly. He's being crate trained. Okay, so certainly, alright. So that's working. I must, there must be some stuff going on where I'm I am refactoring of course I am and there is a plot I have a plot block now right plot block plot cell uh, there's I got okay that's where I'm at I'm I am refactoring Dry refactor. Uh, right. right. So this here, all right. You know this. I don't. I don't. I have, I have no use for size later. So all right, we're gonna create okay, create a target, we create our brushes, and we create our bitmap. That is what we do. Do we have do we have the functions for that yet? Okay, we're going to go. Let's we'll call it here. Avoid create. Um, create factory, not factor, factory, void, create, render, target, void, uh, create, brushes, void, create, bitmap. So let's get, let's get this stuff. Over where we want that to be. Yeah, during the during the uncreate window is not the best time for for it. I mean, it's when it has to happen, right? Well, 
thought so. All right. View up to create factory. So that's view up to create render target. View up to create brushes. This glob of stuff. Is yuck. All right. Okay. So, as we go through, we create a factory. It calls the factory create function, creates a factory. Groovy. Um, creating the render target. This creates brushes, and this is where my brush stuff should go. There we go. So all my brush stuff should go together. So this is this is <laughs> this is this is the ridiculous. This is do this stuff to make this stuff because make the converter. Yeah, yuck. That's gross. That's some gross looking. Look at all that. Look at all that junk. See the, the bits that actually. This is the associate with the file, make the actual bitmap, so I need, and I need to tell, <clears throat> this, is one of those, this is, this is one of those like, wow, you know? In other places, there's a thing like called load image, load texture, whatever. Okay, creating the window, we do that. Put I'm destroying the window. Let's mm, we'll leave them in. Bool, bool. Draw the tail. Draw the walls. Okay, that's what we got. We can. You could say refactored. Uh, first, let's see that works. First, let's see that works. Let's not trust that things work. And it still does because it still creates everything. Bunk. Uh, refactored creation of the 2D assets. Oh, wonderful, perfect. Sure, draw. Do I want? Do I want the clear screen? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. The draw blocks. We're gonna avoid. Draw background, even though drawing the background is nothing more than clearing it out. So we say draw 
background. Move that thing up. So now we have, we start, we say start drawing, do things, stop drawing. Scroll bookkeeping, scroll blocks, scroll tail, check for game over, scroll board, that's what we do. Update. Yeah, okay. Um, should at least you know, add, add time elapsed. Okay. Uh, this is an add to scroll timer, and so I need two functions. I need needs. I need two functions. I need add to scroll timer, which takes my delta. But okay, let's pin that and let's pin that because those are the things that I really need. Um, let's call. I don't know, call you void update. Scroll counter, double, and boy, and bool needs to scroll. So these two things go back over here. you here, put you here. And your delta. Update the scroll counter. Move that thing up to here. I need to scroll. This is really my I need to scroll. And oh, okay, we have Delta. So now it's like, okay, if not game over, if the game's not over, update the scroll counter. And if, while I need to scroll, scroll the board. And scrolling the board has the logic of updating the scroll counter to go, okay, I've scrolled the board, so reset that timer. So that's all fine. Okay, award score. That's how we award score. See, the thing here is I don't like this. So on key down in game and on key down in play, on key down game over. So I want those two, I want those two functions, those things. But first, well, first let's see, does, does it work? It probably works. Everything still works. Pow. Oh, okay. So, all right, commit this with um, added scroll counter functions. Okay, good, good. So I need, 
on keto in game, on keto in game over. So put you over here. down in play Good. on the down game over there's that let's get you with these things That. Okay. Not game over. Then I'm um, down and play. And if that, then on um, game over. He done in play. Yep. Let's get all the way to the beginning of the line. Let's call you Wood Param. See now, there's nothing else that's done, so there's no need to do this. We can actually have a function that's called set direction. Right. Set direction. Right. Set direction. 
see, I don't even need to do this. If I pressed VK left, if I pressed VK right. There we are. Okay, so much better. And in which case I can let's let's do a switch. start game what does reset game do go to the definition of that reset game we have a so start game really doesn't do much but there's reset game and start game boy start Restart game. Perfect. Good name. That's a good name. So start game. Sandbox application. There's a reset game. And game over. Plus plus. That is what sending message. There's a key down, there's a create, there's a destroy. Got it. Create one, we make a new one of these, and then Um, uh, we're gonna make a function that wraps that because I can do safe release, safe release for each of those. I'm like, okay, I'm releasing whatever. This I have to parse. I'm not interested in parsing the code. Good release brushes. Release those brushes. Okay, we're now down to here. Make sure, make sure all the things work. All do all the things work. All the things are gonna work, right? Boom, boom, boom. And thud. Okay. Are these things? I don't know. Hmm. <sighs> like the miscellaneous constants. Enum initial. Zero initial values run length 
equals zero. So far be it from them being magical numbers. So there's all that. Values block um, zero. Initial values uh, tail column. And I don't even know. This, I don't. I don't know that this is gonna work. I don't think it will. Okay, I'm gonna make reset tail and reset. Then make sure you still work. Make sure it still works. Always make sure it still works. And it does. There's my reset, reset, reset game. Boy, reset. Um, Reset blocks. Void reset. Yeah. So we bring it in. Say, all right, you are part of my class now. Reset blocks. Reset tail. Reset blocks. And I think that I can. Yeah, so it all die. Reset die. Great. So, but I think I can do this. I get four auto I think this will work. I think I can do this. Crash and it should reset, and it does. Okay. Tail. Set. Okay, good. <sighs> Refactored reset. So that's that's useful.
See, so now I wind up with all of this. So I think I can do a I think that I can do this. So I still need you. Ugh. But, okay, so. Okay, so int c1 starts at 1, int c2 equals this minus 1. So this, this is this. Okay. So really, no, I need one C. I need, I need which column? Oh, that's it. That's it. And that does it. Okay. Is that simpler? So start here. Start at far right column. Move to left. So I'm just gonna blah blah blah. Okay. Did you work? I don't know. That right, seems to work. So, but now my column, so now it's column zero for auto source in these things. So initialize the scourges and sources, what are the destinations and the sources. So go get them. All right. Okay. The, so do I need the factory? Which thing do I? <clears throat> I 
let's see that the score still works. Seems to. <clears throat> Great. Okay. So, the places that I need the factory. I need the factory a total of one place. Do I need it after that? Because after that, I believe I can use a... There's only the one place. So why do I keep it around? Okay. So, um... What are we doing? Oh. Uh, refactored store bitmap plotting. So, All right, cool. Initialize that. Okay, we are now saying, you know what? I'm gonna need a factory. I, I need a factory to create a render target. Render targets I need. Render target I need. Brushes I need. Bitmap I need. It's going to. Tell me, hey dude, I don't have another, another factory. I got the lab. No, I don't. So, this thing returns an I direct. thing what's the what's the type let's go back to it i2d this one you i need one that and then we'll save release Perfect. And in fact, I should not even have a create factory function. Create factory function. So that goes away. So I create the factory, I create the render target, and I'm done. Should okay. No, there's no don't create a factory because we don't care anymore, and we don't need to do that later. Okay, do you still work? Does that factory need to be there anymore? It does not need to be there. Hug out. Hey, Sammy, what's going on? Welcome to my grumpy little corner of Twitch. I am okay. How are you? We didn't need to hang on to the factory after creating a render target. Now, well, DirectX is, I used DirectX years and years ago, so now I'm picking, picking back up with uh, DirectX 12. 
Uh, because I chose, because I already know how to use those things. I know how to use those. See, I don't actually stream to accomplish anything other than learning something that I'm interested in because it winds up being far more um, no, let's not do that What's ECS? I don't know what an ECS is. And really, this is a sandbox application. So this is for me to learn. This is these are the steps that you have to do. Oh, those sorts of things. Uh, nah, at this time, I am not interested in those things. My needs are modest. My reset restarts. stuff scrolling things up oh, no gotta do that so the initialization stuff so this this is it's that stuff do scroll counter this is scroll set direction you here. Direction. This is actual. So this is the only actual game logic down here. Ah. Get down that. Reset the game. Reset the blocks. Reset the tail. Restart the game. Okay. Drawing the backgrounds. Doing all the stuff. Really, I suppose, put. So, all right. Make sure things still work. So, now I should put some other niceties in here. Like a press space to begin, and and other things. And we can paint, paint that net. What we gonna do? Paint that net. Now we checked in. Are we too? Yep. Super bright. Blinding the people. Blinding myself. Effect order. The effect order. The order. The header file. Sandbox application. Okay, so now new. That's fine. Okay. And what? What scale am I at? 
not constants. I went with screen width is 640. So it's 640 by 480. So I can't go outside of that. So let's actually make a new, new 40, 40. Do that, do that. Uh, what, what color do we like? I like get red, I've got green for square, I got blue for the thing, I've got yellow for that. Let's go with a nice dark magenta. Maybe a slightly nicer, slightly lighter magenta. That's better. Okay, man, what? When do I like? I like something readable. I always like something readable. That could all impact. Why not? Okay, and we say we're centered. We say press space to start. Uh, put a capital S and start. All right, super great. Going to give you with the zero tolerance. Going to invert you. Invert selection. And you know what? We're going to make this. Um, three size, canvas size, we go 640 by 16, so we don't have to think about it. Start.png. Good old start.png. All right. So now I'm going to add my numbers bitmap. I've got a numbers bitmap, so it's going to be my start bitmap. Means it's time to go up here and wherever my numbers bitmap is. Let's say start bitmap. And where's my where's my D structor so I can get rid of it. Become create bitmaps. Uh, create bitmap. So, uh. so the things. Sorry, the imaging factory. I have a need of. And actually, okay. Well, oh, all right. <clears throat> one of these. Alright, sandbox bitmap numbers. Sandbox bitmap um, start. And sandbox bitmap count.
go change. Let's go see what wrecked. We got all kinds of things wrecked. Good maps. For one thing, okay, that does that. Let's make it. Uh, so this one's currently sandbox bitmap numbers. Okay, so I need. Uh, first off, I need to go to here, go to the definition of you, because I also need. Okay, it's not the numbers, but then it's the, the, the start. Start. Back over to constants, and I need to add another one. start. And oh, I still I have to destroy my bitmaps. So right here, okay, we create the bitmaps. <clears throat> bitmaps. I yeah, would say we're going to call something release bitmaps. Which means we need a release bitmaps. Release. Brushes, release bitmaps. But release bitmaps. 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 For auto bitmap. And bitmaps. Let's make it a that. So safe release. Let's save release. Safe release. Bitmap. We should do that over here too for auto eh, brush and brushes. Safe release. Brush. Perfect. You know what I don't like? I don't like, I don't like this. There. No, I like it better. using it yet so it may still work. Funk. No, it goes out. Okay. Does not throw me a bunch of exceptions. Uh, refactored to an array of bitmaps. We're not done. We're not loading the other bitmap yet. Find the load or load. Create bitmaps. Create bitmaps. So 
of the heart. So what I want here is void static. Okay. Static void. I want this little utility function, right? And it's going to have file name. And what's the type of thing? An i d2d1 bitmap. An i d2d1 bitmap pointer reference. Or maybe it can return that. <clears throat> so, sure, we'll do this. We'll do it this way. Needs this thing, obviously. So for now, we're gonna do oh d two d bitmap. We create a bitmap and we need a because this is this is the guts that goes in here so I need the factory and it's going to return that I need the file name All of this stuff. Boss need to render target, don't I? Yes, I do. New our factory. And I also need a render target, so I D two D one render target render target. And ID two D one bit map pointer and bit map. Oh, okay. And return bit map. So these things though go over here. Oh, it needs to be. Well, then I guess I guess I have the render target. But so over here, render is not going to be create. create. No, not void. ID two D one bitmap star create bitmap. I got some stuff to throw in there. Got function. Got got function signaturing. All right. So blah blah. Save 
save everything? What's our what's our problem today? What what is the problem now? Defined. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it needs to be part of the sandbox application. This does. Create a map. Numbers. Goals. Create a map. Nudging factory. Constance. Create a map. Found Okay, so there are two of these, and so I think I'm okay with doing it this way for now. Start with that banner. Um, constants. And we're going to draw it, but we're only going to draw we make one called draw UI. Wait, draw UI. UI, draw start. No, so, uh, Call it a hint. We'll call it a hint. Doesn't, doesn't matter. We don't want to spend forever coming up. Void sandbox application uh, start hint. And where's my Render target draw bitmap. Render target draw bitmap. So that's bitmaps. Bitmap start. D2, D1, D2, D1. I don't know about this. D2, D1, rect, F. So I think it means the whole thing. 0.0, F. We don't have a source. I think it's going to draw it on the whole thing, though. If game over, we're building, we're building, loading. Let's find out. We're adding, we're adding, we're adding the start control. Six, point zero, F. 
we need we need these dimensions we do right okay yep zero zero at 640 and 16 okay so that's where that goes and well that just means we put constants on here with I do a float? I don't think I can do a float. Won't let me. Alright. Won't let me inline it. Start with that. Wait. Oh, put him in here. Yeah, and then get the things over into here. Let's let's get let's get this a little more reasonable. All right, so our capacity. selecting. There we go. One, two, three, four. Why? With height. That's not good at all. Okay. See how to let go. Go. That's interesting. That one's. What are what value are you? And screen height minus this cell. Well, that's. Let's put a breakpoint right there. You are zero. You are that. You are that. And you are that. So there is absolutely no reason that you should be drawn a 
different place. Okay, it's a mystery. So let's let's say it in four six four. So it should be four six four point point zero f. Still no. Okay. Act F. L. Oh. Ha ha. Ha ha. Thinking of it wrong. So roll that. Rectangles are left, top, right, bottom. So then, left, top, top, right, bottom. Ooh. We got it. We got it. We did. Let's go away. All right. Very good. So now we say added start hint to bottom of screen. And that's the what do we did. Am I happy with my changes now? You know, maybe make maybe instead I do a left, left, right, whatever. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. That and it goes away. Lovely. So that's much better. Yeah, this one actually made. Actually, need the index up. Same thing there. Okay. And changed start hint constants to um. Uh, 
start hint constants to left, right, top, bottom. Yeah, that's what I did. That is what I did. I got this. So now, one of the things I'm very interested in build. I'm going to build a I'm going to make a release build. And I think I have to put. I don't think I think I'll get a linker right. Okay. Because I haven't set that part up. Linker. Input. E2D1.lib. Is it just E2D.lib? Okay. So then, go here. Projects 2021. Dx12, Dx12 sandbox. I think is this where it goes? And this right here is going to go. It's going to puke all over itself, right? Because eek, who put what in the so numbers and start? I think that's going to about do it for today. And I built it with the release. I'm going to go back to debug though. And set up release build. It's a great thing. The, the thing that I really, really like is that I don't have to. Oh, I think the household's getting up, so it's time to take a dog out. Press starting or is press on? Press is on. So, and whatever. That going on. We do a super mini raid towards Crass. And thanks everybody so much for hanging out. things to do.
Do it, 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 do it,